One, Canelo has a three-fight deal with the PBC for $100 million. Two, PBC has no network. Three, my opinion, I have two fighters that I think he's going to end up fighting um, um, within the PBC. Four, Crawford is not um, a PBC fighter um, and he's a free agent. Um, five, Canelo sells so he can fight whoever he wants. That's the fifth one is the problem with me. Um, but then, you know, you know how we do. We, we talk on, out this side of the neck and then the other side of the neck. This is what we expect um, from a boxer to fight this one and fight that one. But if he sells, he gets to choose whatever he wants to do. Mayweather said it. I could choose and do whatever I want to do. Um, Canelo, we're going to see how he responds. Crawford also said it. I did what I had to do. I could choose who the fuck I want, right? Now, it's the power of the person that has a choice to choose what they want to do. Um, it might, for the fans, it might be something good that the fans like, and it might be something that the fans don't want. So when I hear Crawford say, I could do whatever the fuck I want, and he said, I want big fights after this, right? And him and Errol Spence made the biggest pot that they ever did. Combined together. So when Crawford says, I can fight whoever I want, he says, I want Canelo, right? But we all know this is a video game and a fantasy fight. So we're going to take him out of that, right? But he's willing to go up. He said this. So he has guts, he has glory, he has um, self determination and dedication to doing the impossible. And that's what we look for in boxing, right? It's how you fall, but it's also how you get up. That's the, that's the thing. So if they say the odds is against Crawford fighting Canelo, it's a fantasy fight, it's a video game fight, blah, blah, blah. But there's a way that that might be slipped in. We're not sure. Depending on Canelo moves. And depending on Jose Benave Benavides. And it also depends on David Benavides. Okay? So the way I see this is like, listen. PBC fighters. Right? Um, Jose, Jose Benavides versus Jamal Charlo. Um, Jamal's also saying that he's been on the contract to fight Canelo. So he is a big, big possibility to me that he's going to fight Jamal Charlo. He's a PBC fighter. My second box that I think that Canelo will choose, right, is Jaime Maguire. That's the second one, right? Because he beat Jamel. So he has a three-fight contract. So how do you feel if he decides to fight Jaime Maguire next or he fights Jamal Canelo praying that he beats Jose Benavides in a beautiful display of fashion, right? So we could say, well, Canelo could say, well, I want to fight. Because remember, PBC has a hundred million dollars for this man, but we still don't have a network, right? So if Canelo say, I don't want the winner of Benavidez and Demetrius. Now we know if Demetrius win, we know, we know, come on, come on people. We know that Canelo is not going to fight no boo-boo Demetrius Andre, right? If Benavidez beats Demetrius, um, see, I, I don't hate Canelo. I like Canelo. I, I mean, I like how he is in the ring, but I might not like how he works out in the ring. Works out of the the, the ring, the square. I, I I might have certain issues with him, just like I have certain issues with Mayweather and certain fighters, right? But this is your generation, and when you say Tank, um, he sells, and he doesn't need Devin Haney. He doesn't need Shakur. This is the virus. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so when you talk out this side of the neck and then out this neck, side of the neck, when you say, oh, Tink don't need this one, Tink don't need that one. Well, you're saying the same for Canelo because Canelo is a real cash cow, right? Tank only fought, um, um, what, what, before he fought Ryan was 250,000 pay-per-views, right? But y'all still saying he's the face and he's the A-side and 
He has the right to do this. And this is what I'm calling about a virus in boxing. Because now, when... Now, don't get me wrong. Between Crawford and David Benavides, I'm going to tell you right now. Um, David Benavides deserves to fight Canelo before Crawford does. That's my opinion. I don't know if you like it or not. It is what it is. Um, Demetrius has the right, if he wins, to fight Canelo before Crawford. Okay? So that's my... Those people in that weight division that's been waiting a long time, they need to have to fight Canelo. Now, it's, everything's on Canelo. WBC can't do nothing to Canelo. Um, who's on the mandatory list has nothing to do with Canelo. Because Canelo sells and he's the man with the plan to do whatever he wants. Now, my problem is this. If, and I know Canelo's praying that, you know, Jamal beats Jose Benavides, Jose Junior Benavides, right? So that won't be an issue, okay? Because that will be one of his people that he wants to fight Jamal. If he loses, <laughs> now if he loses, this is where things get tricky, because it's going to even look worse if he still picked Jamal after he lost to Jose Benavides, okay? Um. When I think about David and Demetrius, I just think of them not there in Canelo's mind at all. Even though David Benavides is a uh, is a PBC fighter, Jaime Minguia, he haven't done shit. He haven't done anything, right? But guess what? He deserves a fight. You know why he deserves a fight? Because he's low risk. Now, the fans don't want to see that, right? But do you accept it? If Tank fight... Somebody that we don't know, right? What has he done to get a fight? But y'all see the same fucking shit with people that have a three division, have a belt, have accolades. What have he done? He can't put butts in the seats. So which one is it? Which one are you fucking cheering for? The one that has no reason to be in the ring with Canelo or the one that deserves to be in the ring with Canelo? You can't have it both ways, dudes. That's why I said this diva shit, this face of boxing shit is a virus. And this shit about belts don't matter, accolades don't matter, it's who put butts in seats. Yo, man. Yes, putting butts in seats matter. But like I always say, if it's all about butts in seats and cash cows, a perfect example is Manny Pacquiao. Why haven't Tank called this man out and said, I want to fight Manny Pacquiao? Why Ryan Garcia haven't done this? He's old. He lost to Ugas. This is an easy cash cow fight win. Why haven't some of these fighters called out this man that's been wanting a fight? Why? So, so, so how do I measure this shit with cash cow? He could do whatever the fuck he wants, right? How do I measure this shit? And how do I measure somebody that says, well... He haven't done nothing. Okay, give me an example. Shakur. Uh, he's boring. He's a three division champion. He doesn't deserve a fight with Tank. He doesn't deserve 25%. He doesn't deserve more than 25%. He doesn't deserve this. He doesn't deserve that. But then you get a, a fighter that nobody knows. And tell that fighter he deserves a fight. Why? Because he's low risk. He's low risk. So the way I see it, if you don't like Shakur or you don't like certain fighters that have high accolades and you're complaining that they haven't done much, what have they done, right? And I told you in my last thing, no matter regardless if you like him or not, and you want to see Tank and you don't want to see Shakur in the ring with Tank because Shakur haven't deserved it. He's boring and blah, blah, blah. Or Devin Haney this and Devin Haney. Listen, you take this fucking hand. And you put it on this side of the eye. And you just look at fucking Tank fight. Or Canelo fight. Right? Just watch him fight. And then if the fighter switches the other side. You take this fucking hand. And put it over here. And watch Canelo on this side. Throwing punches to the boxer. You don't fucking want to see. Because it's all about you seeing Canelo or Tank. Or the cash cow. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter who's on this side. Okay? So, this is the thing I have a problem with when people are saying, oh, he doesn't deserve the fight. Three division, um, all these divisions, same thing they did with Crawford, 
He hasn't fought nobody. He doesn't deserve a fight with Errol Smith. Um, and, and, and it's this bizarre world. It's fucking bizarre world out here when I hear people say, belts don't matter. It matters a lot to the boxers. Maybe not you. Yeah, there's boxers out there that don't deserve a belt and they got it. But you got to figure out who's the real and who's the fake, idiots. That's what it is. So now, Canelo fans will be happy. There's some Canelo fans that will not be happy. But if you're a Canelo fan, you're happy that he fights Jaime Maguire, right? A Mexican, Mexican fighter that he says he ain't fighting no Mexicans, right? But he fights him, right? And then he fights Jamal Charlo. And then he says, I'm off. I'm gone. I'm done. How would you feel? Oh, well, Canelo fans, you will feel so happy. And you, you're so happy that he... He left with his $100 million because I can't see. The only thing I'm trying to figure out here is, just like I said, Crawford and um and um, Terrence, who's going to pick up that match? Now, PBC is without a home. So if I see a network, or let's say these Saudis out there uh, with a lot of money, offer PBC and say, listen, we're going to put this fight on, but we don't want no Jaime McGee versus Canelo. We want the winner. We want David Bennett. Let's just take Demetrius out of it because I still don't believe that even um, the networks or the Saudis or whoever have the most money will still want to see a Demetrius fight um, Canelo. All right? That's the problem. I would like to see that fight. Um, he deserves that fight, but this is how it goes, right? Um, but if a David Benavides beat Demetrius and a network out there that they fishing for the PBC fucking um, fishing for and the Saudis or whoever it is out there saying, listen, we want the fight, but we don't. Who the hell is Jaime McGee? I'm not putting my money into that shit. And they say the only way that uh, PBC could fulfill his street fight deal is that if Canelo fights the monster David Benavides. All right. The red flag, whatever you want to call him. All right. Um. That's the only way. But if Canelo says no, I'm not doing that. You have a Canelo has a contract at PBC for 100 million dollars for three fights. So this is gonna go back and forth. With I don't know if he could say no to certain fights, but Jamal, I'm pretty sure Jamal said he's in the contract with his brother to fight Canelo. So I'm picking that as a major win right there. That's a major one in my opinion. I might be wrong. It's okay. We fart. Opinions all day Because everybody got an asshole And everybody got an opinion So I'm just saying If J Jamal saying that You know this is what I got lined up in the future I could most likely believe him If he beats Jose Jr That's it I, I, I could believe that Now the Jaime Maguire is going to be an issue Either he does that next Or he does Jamal last um, Whichever one But the only way I could see Crawford in this equation because there's a three fight deal with the PBC with PBC fighters is that if they can't find a network and a network is saying listen um the only way we're going to get a fight is if you're going to fight David and then Canelo says I don't want to fight David Benavides now the PBC and Al Heyman they have a three fight contract to fight PBC fighters Right? Three PVC fighters. He felt Jam he fought Jamel, right? So now we have two more fighters. So if he gets away and fight Jamal and the last one, he's expecting to fight Hy Hyman. It's either Hyman McGuire first, second, or he's gonna be last. But if David Benavides beat Demetrius and these Saudis or somebody say, I'm gonna pick it up and put it on a network or whatever, you best to best believe they are the ones with the money and those are the, they are the ones that's going to pick. So this is the problem with Canelo and the PBC and Al Heyman. So if, if Canelo don't want to fight David, the only choice that I see that could negotiate the 100 million and negotiate because he's got to fight somebody in the contract. But to negotiate and, and, and change and rearrange shit in order to be fulfilled, um, the PBC has nothing to do with Crawford. But if the network that has a lot of money, the size, whoever it is, decides to say, listen, it's either you've picked David or you can pick for Crawford. 
I think Canelo will pick Crawford. I think Canelo will pick Crawford. And they'll have to negotiate that with the PBC. And the PBC might have to get a, 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 a higher um, return. Because that, that fighter is not a PBC fighter. Right? He's a PBC fighter now because he's fighting. Supposed, well, he's not a PBC fighter at all. But he's fighting a PBC fighter, Errol Spence. Right? And that's about it. But he's still a free agent. Okay? He's not fighting... On the Showtime. The Showtime is not going to pick up the second rematch. Because PBC has no home. And Showtime is out of business with boxing. Or whatever. Right? So how I'm, I'm, in my future. I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. Because if Canelo is not um, doing what he's supposed to do. With the the, 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 the deal that the PBC and Al Heyman gave him. And he he's really not really looking to fight David Benavidez. If he wins. Well there's going to be a problem. And if he don't win. And he ended up fighting Jaime Miguel and Jamal Charlo. Well, this is what y'all asked for. This is your generation. All right. There's no repercussions. It's, this is the new generation. This is what it is. Um, I wanted to see Keith Thurman fight um, Mayweather. He fought uh, Andre Berto. And then he fought um, McGregor and shit like that. I mean, this is what happens. And this is how they're going to. How he's going to go out. Now, regardless that when he leaves and retire, he say, well, I'm done. And I got my three fight deal and I got my hundred million dollars. And, you know, my thing is, I want to see where this network going to pick up this fight with Canelo. With David Benavides or Jaime McGuire or, 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 or Jamal Charlo. That's where I want to see what pick, who's going to pick it up. Because if there's no return on, on, on Jaime McGuire, but it's a return on David Benavides and there's a return on Bud Crawford. I don't see what the reason why this man Canelo won't fight David David Benavides. But if he feels like he has a better low risk fighting Crawford because Crawford got to move up three weight classes, well, then he's going to have to choose within the negotiations and with PBC fighting a free agent and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So this is the risk. This is the, the, the cast I have when you have a non fighter, someone that don't know. You know, like, like, let's say uh, at first we didn't know Pitbull. A lot of people didn't know Pitbull Cruz. But what did he do to deserve a fight? He was under Sean Gibbons and, pa and Manny Pacquiao. That's Manny Pacquiao's um, fighter. But what have he done? And I hate this. What have he done? Okay, well, okay, we agree. He ain't done much. But he got the fight. What did Errol Spence do to be third, I think, in the WBC at the 154 division? He's third. At 154. What did he done? Right? So. The inconsistency. Is inconsistent. All day. Every day. So all I'm saying is. I just hate when somebody say. A fighter that we want to see fight. Say he doesn't deserve a fight. Right? Because he haven't fought nobody. Blah blah blah. But he's well known. He got good accolades. He got everything going for him. Everybody want to see the fight. Maybe he's a mandatory or whatever. Like how David Benavides is. But then when you have a fight like Jaime McGuire that haven't done anything, right? Um, or, or a Pitbull Cruz that, and no offense to Pitbull Cruz, I like Pitbull Cruz, but I'm saying when the announcement was that he's gonna fight Pitbull Cruz, people was like, what, 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 right? Right? But no one didn't argue about what he had done to get the fight. No one argued about that, right? They just uh, accepted it. But it's hard to accept someone that's got the accolades, but he don't sell. Got the accolades, but he don't sell. Got the accolades, but he's boring. And like I said to you, these fighters have a job regardless. They don't, listen, yes, they need the fans if they want to get that surplus. But they're still on the sanction body. They've been to the Olymp amateurs. They've been to the Olympics. They've been on the sanction bodies. Boxing still got to move on regardless of cash cows or not. This is the job they got into. Right? Yes, it's a plus to fight a cash cow. But you can't say that that fighter is not shit and he don't deserve it because he doesn't sell, but he has great accolades and he's a, he's on the top of the food chain. He's right there ready to fight this fight, but he doesn't deserve it. What the fuck you mean he doesn't deserve it? Wait, 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 hold, 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 hold the video. Let me give you an example of what I'm trying to tell, tell, tell you. Boots Ennis and Crawford, right? 
before Boots Ennis got his email belt, right? He got his he got inbox mail, right? And he got his his belt, he got his IBF, you know, they took it from Crawford. Before that, I was saying he doesn't deserve. Let me give you an example. He doesn't deserve a fight with Crawford. And the reason why I say he doesn't deserve it, but he is on top of the he is was in the rank in the WBO, which he did deserve it. Took himself out the IBO, the WBO, went to the IBF, right? And a lot of people is listening to the, the latest thing that uh that Jerome Boo's saying. And I showed you my last video that his father said, yes, they came to us first. That's the first fucking thing he said. Yeah, they came to us. Black Pine came to us, right? Now, if Showtime didn't want to pick up the fight because they didn't want to share the pot of pie, right? Or they didn't want to split the pie with Black Prime, that's between Showtime and Boots Ennis and, and, and Jerron Ennis. And, and, and if Boots, if Jerron Ennis father saying we ain't signed no contract we are just loyal well this that's the actions of jerron saying listen we are loyal but let's move over there and do this and show how loyal we are and we're going to come back and bring that butt over there to showtime and show them how loyal we are all right that's two right but what i'm seeing when crawford said i don't um it's no it's a lose-lose or um i want big fights I only want big fights. Jerron Ennis is not a big fight. But he deserves a fight, right? But he's not a big fight. But at the same time, he had nothing for Crawford. Now watch how I switched this shit up now. They stripped Crawford. They took the fight. Crawford said, fuck the IBF, right? So he's pre he's pretty pissed off at the situation, right? Because that IBF was in the contract. For Errol Spence, if he decided to do 147, I hear recently Derek James come out say, "Oh no, it wasn't the weight. It wasn't the weight. The weight wasn't the problem." Before that, he was saying the weight was the problem. Now he's saying the weight not the problem. Blah blah blah. But where I'm getting at is this: Boost Ennis got something that Crawford needs that he could get right now. But the way they took it from him, Crawford's like, "Nah, I'm not giving you the benefit of the. I'm not giving you." Your satisfaction, IBF. You strip this to make this man. You strip this from me. You strip this from the contract from Errol Spence and gave this to this man. Gave this to this man, right? And now you're telling me that if I want my IBF belt back, um, come down. Come down. I mean, come and fight him and you can get your IBF belt back. And you could be three time undisputed, which I say that's a great move. But the way they did it was doodle, right? So Crawford's like, whatever, man. You're you're there, but we'll see what happens in the future because in the future this could happen. If I can't get undisputed three times at the 154, could they strip in um, Jamel right? And then and they might strip him again with another belt, the WBA or whatever. They might strip him of that belt. Then there's no undisputed at 154 no more for me. So if that's the case, the only way I could get my undisputed if I fight Canelo, that's one. Or down the line, if I say, you know what, I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna fight this, I'm gonna fight Boots. Uh, we do have something that I want, and I got the three belts, and he got the last belt. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I changed my mind. I agree, cause he has something for you, but he was not a big fight. He wasn't a big fight, and that's what Crawford said. I want big fights. So what are we gonna do? We are gonna listen to what Jerron wants to do, or boot um or Crawford, the one that just beat Errol Spence and just made a whole lot of money. That means he's gotta go down from whatever he made twenty plus million and go down lower than that to fight Jerron. And Jerron net is what three hundred thousand. You might as well give this guy five hundred thousand. And then that would be a problem. Oh, you ducking Jerome because you offer him five thousand or eight hundred thousand dollars for the fight. Well, yeah. Guess what? Crawford got to take a cut down because he doesn't sell. Okay. So there's different circumstances for different situations. Yes, at one point I'm listening to the the, the 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 fighter Crawford. I'm listening to him. He said, "I want big fights." The one that just got undisputed, I'm listening to. Not the one that ain't do shit. Okay, I'm listening to that man. He wants big fights. He named the big fights. He wants Canelo 
Tim DeZu, uh, 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 Jamel, and then he don't want Jamel no more because that shit was a doo doo performance with Canelo, right? But he still was an option at the time before they strip him of the IBF. So the only big fights I see is Canelo and Tim Zoo. Okay? So there's some rearranging all the time in boxing. But if you want if you're in the sanction bodies and you up there, yes, you deserve a fight. Don't get me wrong. But the one that this has been undisputed decides I don't want just any fight. I want big fights. And he's naming them Canelo or Tim Zhu for four division to be a four division champion. That would do great. That would do great. That would do better than Boots. It would. Tim Zhu got a whole country. Tim Zhu got a name. He got a legacy name. He got a name after his father. And his father was great. So that fight alone will be money. In Australia or here. It is what it is. So that is the reason why you have to listen to what the fighter said at the time. You have to listen to the fighter what he's saying. And it's not the fighter that ain't doing shit I'm listening to. I'm listening to the fighter that's doing shit. He just became two-time undisputed. What the fuck I'm listening to Jerron Ennis for? After he just got an email an email belt. And haven't even fought for it. Haven't fought for it. I give him more respect if he fought for it. He didn't. Same thing with Tim Zhu. Yes, he got an email belt. But guess what? He got a country behind him. <laughs> See, there's details within details within details. You just got to fight, find it the right details. That's what I'm saying. You got to find it in the right way. All right, back to, back to regular programming. What do you mean? But then someone that you just pop up out of the air and, and, and get a fight. Well, you know, it is what it is. I don't get this. I really don't understand the two logics of this. A person that we don't even know, or whoever gets a fight, but then the person we do know um, that has some kind of rival with that person, um, he don't deserve the fight. He don't deserve the money. He doesn't deserve, he don't put butts in seats, all this stuff. But the tune up or the whoever it is that don't put butts in seats, your fight is still fights. And, and that's the end of it. So where are we going? So why would you complain about Canelo fighting whoever he wants? When at, what, at, at the same time you complain about a fighter that deserves a fight, don't, des don't deserve the fight because he doesn't sell or he's boring or blah, blah, blah. I, I just don't get it, man. Like, which one is it? And that's why I call this shit a virus, man. It's a big virus. I hate when I hear people say belts don't matter. I hate when people say accolades don't matter. The only thing that matters is bust and seat. But, bro, if bust and seats matter, we should be seeing more um, crossover fights with celebrities, with MMA fighters, um, with, with people with, with, with Instagram. We should see. That's what you're telling me. That is what you're telling me. Not the fighter that's boring and not the fighter that have the accolades. Not that fighter. The fighter that put butts in seats. Well, that goes for any sport. If he's an MMA fighter, a kick, a Muay Thai, a kickboxer, and he has mad Instagrams, and he's he's a face of that category of fighting, bring him over here, crossover, right? Then you can put butts in seats. And that's how you drown in boxing. That's how you, Now, I ain't got no problem with exhibition fights and blah, 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 as we just see with Tyson. I'm just saying. Stop putting down the fighter that deserves the fight. Stop doing that. Okay? If it's negotiations, he can't put butts in seats, that, that, that. I don't want to hear nobody saying, this fighter don't deserve it when he do deserve it. Because you're going to tell me a fighter that don't deserve it can enter the ring with somebody. And I'm like, with a, with a cash cow? Because of a low-risk fight? So I, I just hate when two he talking on both sides of the necks. It, it don't make any sense. It really don't make any sense to me. So if Canelo does this shit and fight Jaime McGuire and Jamal and he's out, fine. But if they have a... The only problem I'm seeing now is, like I said with Errol Spence and Crawford, who is going to pick up the fight? Where is PBC moving to these fights to with Canelo? There's two more fights left. Where are they moving this fight from? 
Where are they moving to? Who is going to pick it up? It's going to be a cross promotion. Um, what is going on? That's that's the problem. But in my eyes, of course, Benavidez and Demetrius, they first come first when it comes to Canelo. But if Canelo should say, listen, we got to negotiate this, this contract with the three fight deal with PBC fighters and we're going to have to negotiate and um, I don't want to fight David and whoever's picking up this fight and put the money behind it says, well, it's out of David or fucking um, Crawford. And he says, well, you know, at the end of the day, I pick Crawford. You best believe Crawford's there to pick up this fight. You best believe Crawford's going to take that fight because he already said he was willing to do that in the first place. And when that happens, you can't get mad because it's Canelo's fault. It's not Bud's fault. Just in case. Because remember, it's the network that PBC is doing business with. And if that network or those people that's behind the network that's going to supply the money, the funds, say this is the only way we're going to go. Canelo, you're only going to fight David Benavides as your last fight or you're going to have to fight a free agent Crawford. You can't blame Crawford. That opportunity is there and he's going to take it. He's going to take it. That's all I got to say. Um... But remember, it's two sides to this, and it works on both sides of the neck. And I just don't understand it. I really don't. Can somebody in the comment section try to make me understand somebody that deserves the fight, but he's boring, he doesn't sell, um, he's not going to get the fight, right? But someone that, that that just pops out of thin air, and we y'all, everybody got to accept it because this person sells, so we got to put one hand here and don't look at the tune-up. Just look at him. That's all we're looking at. Yeah, I, 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 I just don't get it, yo. I just want, maybe I'm missing something. Please, somebody in the comments, tell me what am I missing, okay? I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here for you to read between the lines. It's not what they say. is what they're not saying. Now, when it comes to, um, I'm, I'm betting my channel. I'm betting my channel. So I'm going to make another video tomorrow. And I'm going to tell you my prediction. Well, I'm going to tell you who I think is going to win the fight. And if that fighter wins, Caps and Fold is still in, still in work, still in money. We working, man. Uh, but if he loses, if the fighter loses, I'll be taking a month off. I'm betting my own channel. Um, and that's, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. I'm betting my own channel. So I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here for you to read between the lines. Tomorrow will be about my last video about what... Um, fight I'm gonna pick, and it is what it is. I'm out. Peace.